Hello everyone, hello. Um, this is Krista Noon. Thank you for being here. If you're new, welcome. If you're returning, welcome back. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Really, really, really appreciate your support. All right, this is a reading for Capricorn for the first half of October. So let me break it down. I'm going to start about, uh, with a little bit of astrology, and then I'm going to move on to uh, the Tarot Grand Lux uh, by Tiro Marchetti, and then we'll have at the end an affirmation card from Soul's Journey, and then um, I will suggest some crystals that might help you um, this month. Um, Libra season, right? We're in Libra season right now. Aquarian season. So, the Aquarian year, sorry. So, I hope you like my little decorations. Mama spider and baby spiders. Okay. So, yeah. So, let's do this. Okay. So, dear Capricorn. So, the sun and the moon are in Libra, obviously. Planet of uh, relating, clarity, you know. Libra is the card with the two scales, it's the justice card. So it's like uh, seeing clear, the truth coming out, clarity in communication, relationships, like meetings. It's, uh, it's a time for, uh, um, how do you say, projects, common projects, um, associations, partnerships. Uh, you know, it also they say it's a time for people getting into union, right? So we have the sun and moon, uh, like I said, in Libra. We also have Venus in Libra. The sun is the planet of being who we are, you know, at our core. Then the moon, which is the planet of, that's all about feelings, obviously. And then we have Venus, the planet of love and everything that we actually hold dear to our heart, you know. And then Mercury, the planet of communication, has moved yesterday into Scorpio. We also have Uranus and Taurus in the Quincux. Quincux meaning complexity, it uh, calls for re-evaluation. Re it might irritate and, um, you know, require some adjustments um, and some transformations, which, you know, it just calls for re-evaluation. And also we have Venus and Pluto in a square, a square bringing challenge, a little challenge, right? Pluto went direct yesterday as well. Pluto, the planet of power, intensity, and mystery, you know, rules of Scorpio. So that might bring a little bit of possessiveness, a little bit of paranoia, you know, conflict, just minor conflicts that can be dealt with, you know. <clears throat> so, yeah. So basically, there we go. Pluto is the planet of transformation. Neptune, the planet of dreams. We also have Jupiter and Sagittarius in its own house and Neptune and Pisces. So that might, like, you know, soften, soften the soften the emotions use that to your advantage as well okay so let's do this let's start with the tarot so dear capricorns capricorns the boss right you guys are very ambitious realistic you know capricorn is the you know the house of uh, reputation it's the sign of you know all that is our our reputation how people uh, see us um, you guys are very down to earth, obviously. You're um, truly represented by the pentacles, right? Stabi stability. You guys are very rigid, though, sometimes. You're very disciplined, very ambitious, very realistic, very badass, Capricorn. So, first two cards. Ooh la la, magician. Perfect. We like starting with the magician. Hermit. Again, some inner work. Nice. There's a call for walk, uh, working, uh, you know, really, really going within, you know, take your, like, and <clears throat> using your powers, you know, using your powers, um, your competence. You guys are very competent, very corporate, very disciplined. There's a need to go within and um, really analyze things at a deeper level with that Libra energy as well. You know, get all the info. Spirit of light, spirit of light, guardian is the mess and buzzing goddesses. <clears throat> Next card. <clears throat> Excuse me. Seven of swords. Seven of swords can be the card of somebody like taking advantage of you, stealing from you. But here I see it more like, just like, you know, um, just 
making sure you analyze whatever situation you're dealing with and take what serves you and leave the rest basically and not even look back and don't be too paranoid as well it also is seems like quite a paranoia i don't know it comes off like that never saw it like that but right here it seems like a little bit of paranoia a little bit of overthinking right then we have strength just strength is like very it's spiritual strength here that i'm seeing under the magician as well it emphasizes that you know going within you will have all the answers you know going within you'll have strength you'll find the exact thing the exact thing that thing you're looking for to make the right decisions in whatever you, you're, 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 you're doing. A lot of people are starting projects. So it's funny, all the readings, I haven't seen anything about love. It's mostly about like career. It's funny. Okay, so what else? Seven, seven of Wands, stand your ground. You are strong, Capricorn. You know, you're competent. So don't let anybody tell you otherwise. People will talk, right? Anyway, anytime we're going upwards and we're like striving, people, there are always people trying to put you down and say, no, what are you doing? Oh, that's ridiculous. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Hierophant, again, deals with um, the law. It deals with uh, establishments. Very Capricorn-like, actually, and Taurus-like. Very, very, very Pentacle-like, you know, set in the ground. And at the end of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. Yeah, don't wallow in that. You know, I, it's better to stand your ground rather than to feel sorrow or let anybody else, your emotions, like being susceptible, like um, hurt by other people's, you know, treatment or opinions. Yeah. I feel like there's a little bit of this going on, Capricorn, but... Get out of that energy, because you are the magician, Capricorn. You're the magician here. You have all the tools you need to manifest anything you want. And I have a feeling you've already manifested it, and it's coming, it's coming through now. It's coming through. Remember, though, there's never enough um, contemplation. There's never enough like going in and making sure of. Never enough. You know, anytime in, any, anytime in doubt, go in hermit mode. Sort out your ideas, you know. Then you have the Seven of Swords. So like I said, usually it's a Thief card, Betrayal card. But here, it's a Taking Advantage of card. But here I feel more like it's, um, it's you just looking back and taking just what serves you and leaving those two swords, knowing that they don't no longer serve you, you know. Just like moving on. Moving on with strength. And, you know, motivation and knowing where you're going and not letting anybody get in the way. Okay, we have a lot of major arcanas. We have, we have four major arcanas here. Magician, Hermit, Strength, and Hierophant. Hierophant, institutions, higher learning, um, hierarchy. Um, maybe a father, maybe a, a, a counselor, maybe um, a tutor right maybe you have to go um you're, you're learning something you're being trained you know there's some more information some more training you're doing maybe yeah maybe there's a need to look into archives maybe there's a need to look into how it was done before by the elders right hmm so you have libra libra's in your 10th house the house of you know Tenth, your 10th house, well, the 10th house is the house of reputation in the primary, you know, chart of all the zodiac signs. And you have Libra in your 10th house. So it need to balance in your responsibilities, um, you know, your legacy, the, your empire, your purpose, the pinnacle, you know, your notoriety, um, standing up for what you believe, you know, and making sure that you don't step overboard you know with the libra season we're really chatty you know opinionated and a little bit too excited sometimes so make sure you don't step over you know the boundaries of maybe people are higher in higher hierarchy than you are making sure you know 
you can voice your opinion, but in a very like subtle, classy way. You know, don't go overboard. Because we're about to also get into a uh, Scorpio season, which is very fiery. And uh, pff, pff, pff. Lilith is over there. She's very hot. She's like, whoa, she's straight to the point. She can be kind of aggressive. No, she is aggressive, actually, let me say. All right, guys. So overall, looks good. You're working on something. It's something you've manifested. There's a need to go within and balance things out. Libra, balance, right? Balance your emotions. Balance your thoughts. Balance the way you feel about things. Make sure you're not over expressing yourself at the wrong time there's always a time for everything but you're strong and you're standing your ground which is great there's a lot to learn maybe from people in uh higher up you know you know people that have been there that have done what you're trying to do before i think you can learn a lot from them from from whoever this is right so yeah this is a you're building your legacy i mean everybody's like starting new cycles anyway so i guess you're building you're working on something else because you are a hard worker you probably have a lot of stuff you've worked on for for a long time but this seems like a new project something exciting that needs a little bit of research obviously and research and just taking it easy making sure everything is where it's supposed to be and getting the info the knowledge from people that have experience in whatever you're embarking on, okay? So, yeah. So, basically, let's get a card from the... Ooh, that's a lot. Courage. From the um, soul journey. So, we have courage. I find the inner strength to face fear with confidence. That's exactly this. Facing fear with confidence. And I think you're going to do that. You're going to do it, Cap. You're going to do it, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. And when we have courage, we have courage when we know what we're doing, where we're going, and we have all the info necessary so that whenever we're put in the situation, we have our arguments, we have our facts straight, and we lay it on the table. But when it's right, okay, when the moment comes, if ever you're challenged, yeah, that's the... Get all the info. And then when you're challenged... That's the time to bring it out, okay? With strength, but not aggressivity, though. There's a difference between strength and aggressivity. I don't know. That's my little French accent coming out. Aggressiveness. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. All right. So then we have here a few crystals that might help you. First crystal, stibnite. Conflict, yes. Okay. Don't get into conflict. Don't speak before it's time. Get your information, put it in your pocket, and when the time is right, wield out that sword and speak your truth. Okay? Stay away from conflict. Conflict is a bad energy to be in. Whether it's you doing the whatever, attacking, or other people attacking you, it's just really negative, low vibe energy. Seriously. Then we have empowerment. Sunstone. Mm? This is the stone of like sacral chakra, creativity, empowerment, believing in what you're doing. And once you have all the information, you know, you're more confident because you know what you're talking about. You're empowered. OK, then we have um, rite of passage and ancient wisdom. I'm going to put them together. I think they go together. Oh, and another one. And teacher and learning. These four cards go so well together. So we have Ancient Wisdom, which is the uh, Master card, and it's Ancient Wisdom Crystal. I think it's the Smoky Quartz. Then we have Cuprite, which is Rite of Passage, Rites of Passage. Then we have Shatakite, which is Teacher. And then we have Fluorite, which is Learning. I think this is, you know, this is tying really, really well with, uh, into um, what I was saying about a higher knowledge. You know, whether it's going to the library, get, doing some research, or being mentored by somebody who's been there, who's, who's higher, like elderly, and who, who knows, you know, who's, who knows the ropes. So I think they can really, really teach you a lot and help you advance in a really confident, empowered manner. Okay, Capricorn? You're already strong anyway, but you know what? Hey, extra is always good, right? Extra confidence is great. Not cockiness, confidence. Have gratitude for everything you have already. Have gratitude for where, where you come. 
and have gratitude because gratitude because you're very wise capricorn you're very disciplined and wise and structured that's something to really really be proud of okay have gratitude and then take action once you get all the info then it's time to take action okay take action with strength conviction communication communicate clearly not aggressively all right and then we have abundance there's abundance to be had here i mean i think you manifested this abundance whether it's financial abundance knowledge whatever abundance it's coming okay because you manifested it capricorn you did so then we have success yes abundance and success is coming you did good job you did a good job capricorn remember this person is key to your success and your abundance i really really do think so i don't know who that is life purpose this is maybe you're embarking finally after doing so many things you found your life purpose you manifested it you didn't maybe specify you said okay spirit i'm ready what is it and you got the answers by going within and now maybe you're about to embark on your life purpose great congratulations everybody's looking i mean it's so great to be able to do their your life purpose because it feels great because that's what you're meant to do so innately it's great you feel good about it and with that you can only have success and an abundance. I don't know if I said orpiment and uh, citrine. Okay, so doing your life purpose is what everybody is wishing for here. Purification. Remember to purify. Very important, and to balance yourself. Clear quartz, bogey stones, and communication. These are the three cards that are going to be for every sign for this labor season. So appropriate. Now. So the message for every sign that I give at every, I think for this Libra season is clarity, uh, give charity, to give charity, clear up that karma. It can only bring you good karma. Clean up your space for mental clarity. Okay. As well, cleaning up your space often, you know, clears up your mind, declutter, plus whatever you're getting rid of is useful for somebody else. So that's good karma. Okay. Love yourself and others. Be patient. Don't go into conflict. Be tolerant, have compassion, okay? Love yourself, especially. And then um, money, balance your money. It's not the time to go all woo-woo and with investments and stuff because Mercury is about to go retrograde pretty soon. Um, on the 31st, it's going to go retrograde, sorry, in Scorpio. So make sure that you start, you know, it, you might start getting the itch to spend a little bit too much money. Now is not the time, Capricorn. Okay. So for my astrologers, uh, the astrologers I, I watch that are very helpful, that might help you if you're interested, are Barbara Goldsmith, Sarah Verba, Pam Gregory, and Kelly Rosano. Rosano, sorry. And also this numinous deck is wonderful. Ruby Warrington and Bess Matassa. Very easy, very, uh, very um, how do you say very cute, very playful. It's my um, stylish astrology, I call it, okay? So thanks everyone for being here. Remember to subscribe, like, and share. And thank you so much, Capricorn. And wishing you the best, love and light. See you guys um, later on for the Aquarius reading. Bye. Bisous. Au revoir.